why I'm here, what it is that I do, and, you know, just answer any questions that you have. And I said last time I was, uh, I've been celebrating 10 years this year, and it's amazing to me that I've been in business that long. Wow. It doesn't feel like 10 years, and it's extraordinary to me that somebody who had zero training in business could actually stay in business for 10 years. So I'm really excited about it. And the first thing I'm going to tell you a little bit about is my family, because they are my rock. They are the very core of me, the love that I have, the support that I have from them is incredible. My husband here on the left, uh, we've been married for 19 years as of April 26th, very exciting. Uh, and my kids, Naomi, she's kind of reserved, standing in the background, she's 12. And my goofball, nine-year-old, uh, Ian. They keep me, uh, keep me honest. <laughs> and then, this is a little bit about why I do what I do. So this is, this is Richard, he's my angel baby. He passed away when he was five weeks old. And uh, he was born in 2005. And it's, it was an amazing journey going through what I went through with him. At three and a half days old, he contracted a virus that affected his heart and his kidneys and other body organs. And you know, he went back into hospital and he spent the rest of his life in hospital. And it was an incredibly difficult time. Horrible, nasty, wouldn't push it on anybody at all. And there was so much positive stuff that came out of that. So much growth that I have experienced. So much, I learned that my community has anything that I want if I ask for it. I learned about love, and I learned about death. And you know, one of the things that this is this is Richard on the day that he died before they unhooked him. Um, and you know, it's it's an incredible thing to to learn about death because there's something very special, very spiritual about our lives here on earth, and our lives are so precious. Life is so precious, and to me, it's not to be wasted. So, for, so that we can do what we want to do and be who we want to be at every moment in our lives is really my mission on earth. So, he does want to hang around. Space bar, right? Space bar. It's got stuck. Space bar. I did. Oh. It's got stuck. Text port. Text support. Yeah. It's got really stuck, but he really wanted to hang around. Hi, Richard. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to have to do a little bit. Yeah, okay, we can restart. So, really, who I am is a being of light. Here, my purpose is here just to serve and only to serve, and that's what I'm really here for, so that each and every one of you can be the best that you are, and do the best that you can do in this world, and serve this world, serve the people in this world, and serve this earth. So, after that, it's kind of like really deep and heavy and meaningful and all the rest of it, and um, I can tell you about some of my favorite clients. Uh, so, I'm trying to remember which ones I put first now. <laughs> so if we catch up to it, we can catch up and we didn't take my order. Um, so one of my first clients was a UCLA professor. And she uh, was a history professor and I went into her house and she had a bookshelf, another bookshelf, and then another table with books all over it, and books underneath it, and books around here. And, like, everywhere you look, there were books. And she couldn't do her research because she could never find the book she wanted to find. Oh. This was me. So my most fun client, so me. <laughs> my most fun client is me. I'm always organizing stuff in my own house. Like finding different things that I can do. And this is something I did ages ago, just sort of like, oh, oh look, actually I don't need all the stuff that I have in, in my bathroom drawer that where there's all the junk I've gotten dropped. And look what happens when I clean it up. It's so much better. 
I can see everything, I can find everything. I said, this is the history of Professor. And then so when we looked, we made, we got us some bigger bookshelves and we put everything away and we categorized it and we gave her a whole shelf for her library books because she was always getting fines from the SCLA library because she could never find her books to return them. Uh, and she was much, much more productive after that. Surprise, surprise. Okay, now this is my, another of my favorite clients. This is my husband. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this was not my husband, this is my, in my husband's office. Um, and he shares an office space with other UCLA researchers. And they are notorious for keeping hold of stuff that they don't even need. Um, but you can see that in the back, you know, there's some shelves in the back that are just empty. So we got rid of the stuff that they didn't need and moved the stuff to the back shelf. And suddenly there was more space and they could like, the person that sat at that desk could actually get to that desk. It was crazy. Oh, now this client. Um, this is a room that an artist had. And he'd been sick with celiac disease for about three years. And he'd just been getting sicker and sicker and he hadn't been able to paint, he hadn't been able to draw. And so his, his artist studio had basically become a place of a dumping place. And he was getting really stressed. He was really stressed out because he couldn't do the thing that he loved to do. And I'm all about doing the things that you love to do. So we were, I worked with him for a little while and this it kind of seems a little cluttered. However, he's actually got his workstation set up there. He's, he's in progress painting, he's in progress drawing. He's got a, um, what do you call those things? A walker, treadmill walker thing in there. Where, where would, no way that would have fitted in the door before we started working with him. So he's now able to work out and he's got his TV set up so that he could actually watch his instructional videos on uh, drawing. So his life now works. His life now, is, it was completely transformed from being, not being able to do the thing that he loved to do and being constrained with, by his health to now being, being more healthy, being able to do the thing that he loved to do. Okay. Uh, another of my most fun clients, the buyer and seller of fabric. He carried absolutely everything in his head or on scraps of paper or napkins or God knows what, all over the place. And he would get back to his office and his staff would have a million questions for him. And he would have a million things to give to his staff. And it was chaos when he went into the office. He was starting to avoid going back into the office because of how overwhelmed and how stressed he felt when he went back into the office. Not very good for business. So after I worked with him, he was still a buyer and seller of fabric. Uh, but we set up procedures for all the most common questions. So they had written documentation for what it was that the staff was supposed to do for most things. Uh, we did some electronic note taking for it. We set it up with Evernote. And I'm a certified consultant for Evernote, if anybody wants to learn more about that. And his revenue that year went from $1 million to $3 million. So it, it, it worked. Another of my most favourite clients, really because this client is working on taking care of the earth. And I'm big about that. I really think that we should be responsible for our, our footprint on the earth. He's a lead certified engineering firm. When I started with him, he had about one and a half staff, 250k revenue. And he was harried. And now, his local staff, his revenue is about a million. He's still harried, but he's harried by different problems. And I can't claim all of the um, kudos for this because it's actually a client that Dan Gordon works with as well. Uh, so thank you, very much appreciate it. Uh, so that's just a few of my clients that I've worked with over the years. And I just want to mention again, we do have a 10% special for any bookings in April to celebrate the 10 years of business for anybody that you refer to me. You guys always get 15% from me. So that's a, that's a no given, that's a no, no brainer. Um, and really the biggest thing is that we're here to help for you to be the best that you can be. So if anybody has any questions before, um, before Eddie stops me, <laughs> go ahead. 
Dan. I do. Uh, so what is it that we should be listening for or looking for um, in terms of a good client for you? Anybody who's overwhelmed, anybody who's stressed, anybody who has piles of paper or piles of anything uh, and, and wants to have a, have a calmer, more, more in control feel to their life. Okay, wait, wait, no, you're wrong about that. Uh, just kidding. Uh, so I was sitting down with a client and she was at her computer and she said, I can't find anything on this. So that is a great thing to uh, listen for. Because the second that she said that, I thought Dr. Catherine Macy and she is helping her. <laughs> All right, thanks Dan. So if anybody says, I can't find what they're looking for, that's a great tip too. Uh, let's see, I had Mark. So uh, this is actually a, a testimonial. I referred a client of mine who's been my client uh, literally for over 15 years. And he's now in his late 70s and he's got Parkinson's and he's stuck at home. And his home is, is, is a nice little two bedroom condo, but it's a mess. And it was very unorganized. He had paper stuff everywhere and he blew up lost. And he's worked with Catherine off and on now for like a, a year maybe off and on, a few times over the course of a year. And what's great about Catherine is not that she's good at what she does, but she's good with people. Like, she very like looks forward to seeing her, and she's become part of his, you know, life. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Jerry's wonderful. Thank you. Um, thank you. I'll see any other questions later. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mason.